YouTube. Welcome back to Tactical Advantage. Uh, today we're going to do something we haven't done in quite a while, and that's take a peek at some new safety equipment uh, that I recently got. Uh, to give you a little bit of a precursor, what's been going on, uh, for the past year or two I've been doing a lot of AR pistol builds. Uh, we built a 308 rifle, a braked rifle, and an AR-10 platform variant. And uh, really what was going on is the, the AR pistols and the, the longer range rifles that are braked are, are just incessantly loud. And uh, it got to the point where if, if I wasn't the shooter directly behind the rifle, uh, it became relatively uncomfortable to be on the range uh, when someone else was shooting the gun. Uh, so really I started trying to look into finding something a little bit better, a little bit more protection factor. Uh, normally I will run uh, a digital, uh, like an active uh, earmuff, uh, and they usually run about a 22 decibel rating reduction, uh, and they just weren't fast enough or strong enough to uh, make shooting those kind of rifles uh, comfortable. So that gets us into what we're looking at right here. Uh, these are the Pro for Show uh, Maximum Hearing Protection Slim Earmuffs from Amazon. Uh, they're actually pretty good uh, so far from what I've seen. Uh, they are passive, so they aren't digital like you would have uh, where it amplifies conversation. But if you're shooting a loud rifle, this is definitely the way you kind of want to go unless you want to wear double hearing protection. Uh, which a lot of people, including myself, find uncomfortable. So uh, basically, we'll open these up and take a look, and uh, we'll let you guys see what we what we found. All right. So again, these are the Pro for Show uh, Maximum Hearing Protection Muffs. Uh, they are ANSI tested. Uh, I believe the ANSI spec is S three point one nine dot nineteen seventy four. Uh, for the guys that aren't familiar, ANSI is the American National Standards Institute. Uh, that's where a lot of the methods for testing uh, come out for all sorts, a myriad of equipment. Uh, but <laughs> that's basically the standard for, for noise reduction in an earmuff kind of platform. Uh, but I didn't really want to get into a whole bunch of science on this one. But um, basically, we're looking at these really slim line, and that's kind of what... Uh, you don't normally see when you get into like that kind of max decibel rating or the max NRR or noise reduction rating. Normally the most you'll see is around 33, 34. These are actually a 34 uh, NRR reduction. And being slim, that's really interesting. Normally when you see kind of the, the larger reduction kind of muffs, they're big monsters. And uh, they don't really lend themselves well to rifle shooting, getting a good cheek weld, um, being comfortable at the range. Uh, these, on the other hand, are relatively slim, uh, still provide a good amount of reduction. Um, relatively light, right around 7 ounces. Uh, they appear to be well built. Uh, they are adjustable. Come in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. Uh, the one thing you get with these being slimline and uh, to get that kind of protection rating is they are very, very tight fitting. Uh, they actually have a little booklet within the box that tells you uh, if you have uncomfortability with these, you know, you can set them out, put them over a box overnight and kind of stretch them out a little bit. Uh, so if you really have the, the larger head variety uh, you might want to kind of try and break these in a little bit before you use them because they are relatively tight however uh, that tightness does make them work very very well um, to give you a good idea uh, again I kind of spoke to it before but like a you know a normal digital muff gives you about 22 22 NRR or a 22 reduction uh, when you're shooting a handgun, that works great. You know, it's not really problematic. Uh, you don't have a lot of that sound force coming back and, and hitting you in the face, so it's not so bad. But you get into AR pistols, uh, you get into like 308 or larger calibers in a braked rifle, and uh, it gets really loud really quick. Upwards of around 165 decibels or so, you could kind of see. And uh, even though it's an impulse noise, something that loud could could damage you. 
uh, not only could it, you know, really affect your hearing over the long term, it could, you know, really, it, it makes it just uncomfortable to shoot. And if you're shooting a precision rifle or something like that, it, it doesn't lend itself to, to good performance. So with that, I found these on Amazon. They're relatively inexpensive. I think they, uh, they're going for around 17 bucks or so. Uh, so it's about half of what you would see at the entry level digital muff. Uh, but for the protection level you see, they're, they're good. Uh, I'll also put a link to where I bought them and I was able to uh, finagle a 10% off code. So we can get you a couple box, bucks off it if you decide you kind of want to try these and like them. I don't see anything from that. That's just something I tried to work out for the viewers. Uh, but anyway, slim profile. They come in about 10 different colors. I think these are the army green variant. Uh, you have enough padding where they're relatively comfortable. They work really well. Uh, they're small enough. You know, that was really kind of the big point for me that I could use them for rifle and they worked very well. Uh, you could also kind of use them for chores around the house, lawn mowing, uh, kids that are noise sensitive. These would probably be great for kids, actually. But, uh, you know, these are going to go in my range bag. And I'm sure if you've watched the channel for a while, I've probably got 20 different pair lying around from being a, a firearms instructor over the years, uh, doing different things. And these rank up there probably with the, the best reduction I've had. Uh, they seem to be well built. Uh, had no problems with them when I was using them. Like I said, they do tend to run a little tight, uh, but that's kind of what you want when you're trying to get the maximum kind of reduction. So you may have to break them in a little bit, but uh, at the end of the day, you know, quality product. I think they're US designed. I think they're made in Taiwan. That helps control the price. Uh, but, you know, I can't complain here. You know, founding them, ordering them on Amazon, you get them in two days, so uh, pretty good stuff. Next time I, I take the Tribute rifle or I take one of the big bore rifles out, I'll, uh, I'll also point a little note about these again, just to remind everybody. Uh, but they work. They do what they're supposed to do. And if, if you're firing one of those annoying monster rifles, uh, it'll help you and it'll certainly help your friends or your shooting buddies. So... Uh, Thanks for watching, guys. You'll you'll see these more on the channel. They're going to be around a little while longer. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and buy a couple more pair, tell you the truth, and try and keep three or four in my range bag. But good stuff. I'm going to uh, attempt to test these on my 50 here in the near future uh, and see, like a side-by-side -side comparison, how people feel about the concussion uh, when you're kind of taking off that sharp edge with these. So any questions pop up in the comments and like I said before I'll go ahead and put some links in the description of where I found these uh, I'll put the code for 10% off and um, if you guys want to take a gander go ahead but good stuff thanks for watching